Hi all. So on my last video I had said that I was going to make a video on kids who were made fun of and uh, someone had sent me an email shortly afterwards um, talking about, I'm, I'm not going to get into specifics, don't worry, but just basically talking about it, they were having some issues and they wanted some ideas on how to cope. So uh, this is going to be a video on how to bully proof yourself. Now, um, if 99% of the time, if someone is making fun of you, they're going to zero in on some aspect of your individuality, something that makes you different from the quote-unquote norm, and they will say it's a negative trait. Now, let me be clear. There is absolutely no aspect of your individuality that, um, save for uh, something that's destructive or something that is um, submissive, that is a negative trait. It's either neutral or positive. But a bully will make it seem like it's negative in one of two ways. They will A, completely blow it out of proportion. For example, say your forehead's a little bit bigger than most people's. That's a neutral trait. That's just who you are. They will say you have a seven-story tall forehead. That sounds pretty negative. Um, now, even if the trait is positive, they can still make it seem negative. A classic example is, uh, well, um, say you're really, really passionate about something that most people aren't passionate about, and say you're really, really good at it. Um, well, that, that seems like a positive trait, but if you're called a nerd, that is a negative connotation. Suddenly it's a negative trait. And that's what they do. They make up some kind of a label or jingle or catchphrase that makes it seem like whatever it is is negative when it's really positive. But, I mean, you know, have you ever noticed how, like, some kids can, you know, wear a clown costume to school, and not only will no one make fun of them, but some people might start wearing a clown costume themselves? And yet, if you do anything that's even the least bit out of the norm, all of a sudden, they fly at you like a nest of hornets. That is because the reason that they are... What they are saying they're making fun of you for is not the reason why they are making fun of you. The reason why they are making fun of you is because you're coming across as being submissive. And the way that you do that is, um, do you shuffle your feet when you walk? Do you hunch up your shoulders? Do you jut out your neck? Do you talk really softly so people can't hear you? Do you not look at people when you're talking to them, or, or not look at them when they're talking to you. Do you have a general sense of just you're not adequate, you're not who you want to be? If you do, you are showing submission, but the number one worst thing you could possibly do, you may be wearing a blinking neon sign on your forehead if you do this, is to look down when someone walks by, or look down when you're in the presence of others. That is a universal, across the board, not just in people, every social mammal sees that as a submissive demeanor. But unlike most social animals, people take it a step further. They, they actually, that's their victim now. if the person is living through pride. And I, I talk about pride in another video of mine, uh, the prideful weed impedes the confident seed. And, and basically the gist of that is, I mean, you can't be confident and be prideful at the same time. It, it just doesn't happen. Because when you're prideful, you're not even yourself. How can you be confident about something you're not? Prideful people are whatever everyone else is. And so they're actually threatened by you. They're threatened by your being a unique individual, because they're not a unique individual. And in being a unique individual, they may call you weak, and they may call you, um, you know, uh, scared, but you are far braver and far stronger than they are, because they were too scared to be themselves, because them, their true selves can really get hurt. This fake persona they have, the fake persona can get hurt, but it's not actually them being hurt. You're brave enough to be your true self, even though you're putting yourself at risk by doing so, 
even though you, you will feel a lot of pain at first when you do so. And they're threatened by that. But they wouldn't. They they would be threatened by it and look up to you if you would not show submissive demeanors. The difference between you and that kid who wears the clown costume to school and as everyone starts doing what they're doing is that kid's confident. That kid is showing. They they're not showing any submissive demeanors. They're walking um, with their head up high, with their shoulders back, with their chest out. They're speaking confidently. They believe that they are happy to be who they are. And above all, they're looking at people, not only when they talk to them and, and, uh, uh, you know, and, and they talk to them, but they acknowledge everyone who walks by. They make people feel good simply by being there because they acknowledge everyone who walks by. And that is so important. Anyone with an ego needs to be acknowledged. They have to be acknowledged. I, I know you're sitting there like, I, I wish I could just shrink away and be nothing and have no one see me. I wish I could have an invisible cape. They don't want an invisible cape because if, if they have an invisible cape, they don't exist. The moment that that pride is, is not um, being seen, it doesn't exist anymore because it's fake anyway. The way that it continues to exist or appear to exist is that it... Um, it's being acknowledged constantly. And so that is very important to acknowledge people. But don't be afraid to be who you are. I can't say that enough. I cannot stress that enough. And you know, you can look in the mirror uh, or have someone film you, you know, to see how, how you're, um, if you're doing these things. I can assure you, you are. Because if you weren't, you would not be being picked on. But if you just need confirmation, I mean, you know, be my guest. Um, but don't always feel like you have to check up in the mirror of the video camera. Just really make that conscious decision. I am confident. I am going to stand up straight. I am going to put my chin up high because I am worth it. I am worth it. I don't want to hide who I am. I love who I am. And I, I don't know, I don't care, say it to yourself in the mirror, you know? I mean, you don't need someone to sit there telling you you love who, or they, they love you and you're great and everything like this. Just look in the mirror and say it to yourself. And, and, you know, you may think it sounds crazy, but no one can see you. I mean, you're the only one who sees you. So, you know, do that if that helps. But really believe it. You've got to believe it. If you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. If you don't believe it, you're going to continue doing these behaviors. They're getting you into trouble. But, um, you know, feel free. I mean, if anything that I said didn't make sense in this video or, or you're confused or you have a situation, you know, that's specific that you don't think is applicable to this video or whatever it is, feel free to email me. I, I, I want to help you. No one should feel bad about who they are. You're beautiful in who you are. You should be happy to be who you are. You shine when you are who you are. That's what everyone wants to be as an individual because when you're an individual, you're free. You're free to do what you choose. No one is telling you what to do. When you are this person who's conforming to everyone else, everyone else is telling you what to do.